Hello my dears and welcome to my channel. I am very happy and grateful that you chose to spend your time with me and I hope that you are doing well. Before we meet our deck, I wanted to let you know about the many ways you can support my channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that I can appease the mighty algorithm and be seen by more people and grow as a channel. Or if you want to be notified of a new video, go ahead and click on the notification bell or you can buy me a coffee. The link is below and in my banner at the top. Uh, I make no proceeds from coffee as anything I get from coffee goes right back into buying decks. And with that being said, we have the Untamed Spirit Animal Oracle, Wisdom from Wild Within. And it was created by Francesca Mattinoni and Rococo Lombardi. And it was published by Red Wheel on August 5th, 2022, and retailed at the time of release of $22.95. The deck box itself is five and a half by 3.75 and the width is one and a half. It weighs 1.01 pounds. It has title stackability on all sides but the bottom. And it does have a slide out on the bottom box and on the back. Discover the sacred wisdom of animals. From our earliest beginnings, animals have been a significant part of our lives. They help, us, they help us, they inspire us, sometimes scare us, but also protect us. In this dynamic oracle set, you will find 50 animals that are considered sacred in various cultures around the globe. Through symbolism and folklore, the cards present the ancestral wisdom of animals and show how each guide how each can guide and awaken our untamed spirit. Each animal is created with the scratch board technique. The artist begins with a black surface and as he scratches through, each animal emerges and comes to life. This oracle presents keywords for each animal along with their elemental nature so that we may engage with the animals and embrace their nature as we search for understanding and connection with our own wild wisdom. And then you get your three teaser cards. And as you can see, it has the animal and then it has the keywords at the bottom. All right. I am not a fan of the bottom slide out because a lot of the times I'll grab my deck like this and then it'll slide, the bottom will slide and I'll, all the cards will go all over the place. But you know, if you like it, it's fine, but for me, I'm not a fan. <laughs> All right, here is the guidebook. It's 112 pages. And inside the box is another box for the cards. And this one has title stackability on all sides. And it has the peacock on both sides. Okay. side and uh, the guidebook is as big as the cards and they are a little bit bigger than a traditional tarot card uh, they are five by three and the deck itself is about an inch All right, so um, reversals will be revealed due to the artwork and um, there are 50 cards in the deck. So let's go ahead and look at this deck. And like they said on the box, the scratch board technique you have your black surface and then scratches the picture 
to reveal it. And there is no color in this deck. It is black and white. So if you do like color in your cards, you will be disappointed. I don't mind the absence of color. But it's all a personal preference. It's all in what you like. And this was the only deck that these two collaborated together with. I couldn't find another deck. Uh, Rococo, um, I couldn't find another deck that he had done. Um, he, um, because he is an illustrator, he, um, I saw a lot of coloring books that he's put together. He may have other things that he's done, but that's all I could really find out about him. Um, Francesca, she has put out quite a few decks. Um, she is coming out with one um, in January 2nd, 2024, and it is a World Shaman's Oracle. And she came out with the grunge tarot um, is released December 14th 2021 ask the witch tarot January 3rd 2022 fairies in magical creatures tarot on uh, November 8th 2022 I have that one I was pleasantly surprised Oracle of Novice Witches, which was released um, August 30th in 2022. And these are really good if you are into animal spirits and animal study. Doing a pick a card and finding out as much as you can about the animal. Uh, I'll show you in the guidebook why this would be good for animal study if you're interested in it. Go ahead and explore the guidebook. Okay, so we have more of the art. Pan this down. There we go. Okay, so we have our intro page and we have our contents page. And as you can see, the animals are grouped by the four elements and not alphabetically. She has an uh, introduction page going back about how animals were very important. And I'll let you pause that and read that. and how to use it. She goes into um, how she came about putting it together and how you can use the oracle. I always look at these sections as suggestions and um,
she gives you um, a little intuitive um, questions you can ask and uh, you can pick one card or you can do three cards and you can meditate on the card itself and you can do a diary so you can read that at your leisure and pause it and then we go into the animals themselves and um, it has the element the animal a little bit of of a paragraph and then in this area um, she has combined um, elements of information about the animal um, she has um, blended superstition literary history and scientific information and lessons to learn from that specific animal and then on this side um, this is the part that is good for if you are looking at it at uh, a biology um, wanting to study um, the animal from a biology standpoint uh, the scientific name is a unique name that is usually Latin or Greek that's given to a particular species so that all of the scientists know what that particular animal is and then there is a taxonomic hierarchy I didn't know much about this because I not really gotten into biology so I'm gonna attempt to explain it so apparently uh, taxonomy is a branch of biology that refers to the process of classifying different living species a taxon is referred to as a group of organisms classified as a unit and each level of the hierarchy is called the taxonomic category or rank so there's seven of them there is species genius genus family order class phylum and kingdom so she has put the scientific name the class order and then um, the geography where you could find the animal and then she has combined it with the spiritual power which is on the card the two keywords and classes are the most general rank and it includes 108 um, and they have their own specific name and then you have order which is a more specific rank than class it constitutes one or more similar families and there are around 26 orders in class um, such as a mammalia such as primates and carnivora etc um, that's the best I can explain it so there is um, study material if you want to go into that side of animal study and if that is confusing I'm sorry I I'm not a scientist but that's the best that I could explain it as and I'm sorry if it's confusing <laughs> all right so she has grouped each of these animals with a certain element
like I said. I mean, if you're curious about this branch of um, biology, by all means, um, look it up. You could probably find a better explanation than what I gave you, but I tried. water so you have all of these creatures who are associated with water Then you have air, and you have all the animals associated with air. Then you have fire. This grouping kind of threw me off, I'm going to admit. Uh, koala, um, I was kind of confused as to why she would associate the koala with the element of fire, other than they're found in Australia and Australia is very hot, I, I don't know. But as, you, as we go by, um, the other animals that are grouped into this, um, I could understand some of these that were grouped, but as you see, all of the animals that are in the fire section are very powerful animals and then you have the koala so um yeah that that kind of that kind of makes me curious So, I mean, the only thing I can think of is that they ha are the same class, Mammamilla. Other than that, I'm stumped. So if you guys have any idea, drop it into the comment and help me understand. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle these babies. And due to it being a little bit bigger, if you have small hands, yeah, you're going to struggle a little bit. And the card is kind of a high glossy. Okay, so let's see which animal wants to peek out and say hi. The deer, grace and kindness. Okay. Deer, deer, deer. Pick forty one. Okay. 
Okay. My gift is my antlers moving tall through the trees. Thanks to them, I have keen perception, immersing myself in the forest of my kin. I carefully look after my fawns so they may have faith in themselves. I tell them to be kind. The ancient Celtic god of vegetation, I'm gonna butcher this word, I'm sorry, Cernonus has deer antlers branching from his head. The spirit of the deer carefully and kindly watches over the woods. The stag's antlers regenerate, demonstrating the grace of all that's living and can never truly disappear. They rest, decay, and then they return like new. They grow almost like branches, connecting the earthly energy of the animal to the sky. Does are careful mothers to their young. While their young are still vulnerable, the mothers protect them from an excessive contact, excessive amount of contact with the outside world, reinforcing the family ties. As a guide, the deer leads us to reconsider the traditions and crucial ties that exist between us, our kin, and the wild, inviting us to return with a sense of innocence and wonder. They lead us with kindness into the heart of the woods so that we learn to listen before acting. They teach us gratitude for every gift we receive. And that's very nice. All right, so that is pretty much what I have for this deck. So let me know what you thought about it. Like it, love it, hate it, eh. Um, And if you did buy it after um, seeing my video, please let me know because it means so much to know that I am helping people on their decisions to buy decks or not, to add them to their collection. Um, and any deck you'd like to see in a future video, let me know and I will see what I can do. But. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for spending your time with me and I hope that you will join me for another video. But until then, take care and goodbye my dears.